So let's talk a little bit about how much this can mess up your business. Hallucination can carry giant reputational risk and ruin your business and years of work. Mark? Well, I think many of you may have seen news stories uh, over the summer about these two lawyers who submitted a uh, uh, some documents for a, a, for a, a hearing, and it had citations that um, turned out to be made up, that, that they looked like legal findings, they sounded like legal findings, but in fact, it was a, a hallucination uh, in just the form that Dan was just describing. And so um, these two lawyers uh, uh, ended up having to pay $5,000 as a, as a fee for having made this mistake, but far greater for them in terms of, of the damage is going to be that the law firm, uh, Levidow, Levidow and, uh, and Oberman is, uh, you know, if you search for that law firm, all you are going to see is stories about this one error that uh, these two lawyers made, and uh, it's it's a big reputational hit for for that for the for the firm, but also for these two particular attorneys uh, who uh, who thought they were using this as a search engine and did not know that it was uh, a language model that was going to to fill in the blanks, and if it didn't know what it if it didn't have what it needed, it would just make it up. And one of my favorite parts of this story is, so the lawyer asks it to create like citations uh, in, uh, in, in support of its legal argument. It makes up a citation. It makes up a legal case. He then asks it to send them this, the, the, um, the actual case itself. And it makes up the case law. And then he's like, is this real? And it says, yes. So like rule number one, guys, is don't use ChatGPT to fact check. That is a terrible idea. And uh, these guys are the laughing stock of the world and the business community and the legal community. And th the sad thing is they're a small business. This is a small legal firm, 30 years, impeccable reputation, and now this huge reputational risk if you just don't understand the basics of how to fact check. And so we talk about hallucination and how it can hurt your business's reputation in, in two ways. And we've kind of covered both of them. One is it can send out inaccurate information about you and your brand. Uh, the bigger your company gets, the bigger the risk this becomes. The higher the profile you have, the bigger the risk that hallucination will make stuff up about you. Stuff that might be attributed back to you and that could be either at the very least uh, a little uncomfortable, like Mark claiming to have done stuff he didn't do. I'm sure his colleagues would be really annoyed to see that. But also you as a brand should be creating content, should be creating information on your subject matter expertise. It is the most profitable form of marketing. It's called SEO or search engine optimization. Presenting yourself as an industry expert and a thought leader and getting people to come inbound to you to ask you for help. It's what this webinar is. It's the primary mode of marketing for BizHack. And it's what many, if not most, businesses are doing to try to establish themselves, particularly in the B2B or business-to-business -business space. And so if you as a company are using AI to generate content and you should be, there's huge reputational risk in putting out inaccurate information because that little inaccuracy will completely undermine your credibility as a trusted source. And trust is at the foundation of why people buy. That is the reputational risk. It is not minor. And so what we're gonna do today is we'll give you some fun examples, but we'll also say like, okay, how do you solve for this? And the answer is not using AI. It's using some old fashioned techniques uh, that journalists have been honing for decades. 